Today we're going to talk about the bottom of the Bitcoin price and I will show you some evidence based on a very unique feature of Bitcoin itself, very specific characteristics of Bitcoin uh, that it is very likely that the previous low at $3,150 on Coinbase was the bottom of Bitcoin price and even if we will go a little bit lower than that then it will be pretty uh, sharp and we will return back very soon and most likely we will go just sideways and then upwards from that so what is the particular feature what I'm talking about you see Bitcoin is probably the only one asset in the world right now which has such a transparent history of all the transactions which are associated with Bitcoins with, with those coins on their on, on its blockchain because um, you can have everything from uh, the history of transactions which you can exclude extract from from the blockchain but the, all the other asset those those there's the, those um, the data is pretty much hidden and even though you can get some of it it's still not not complete at all so for the Bitcoin though you can sort of it, it, it represents uh, the capital movement the movement of the funds the the flow of the capital uh, which is um, dealing with Bitcoin so and this is one of the most important most crucial data for analysis which you can imagine above all uh, a part of the price itself so when we look at the technical analysis we always try to use the price sometimes we use the bar the volume and everything like that but it's only numbers it's only the the digits uh, nothing uh, really it, it's really abstract right it doesn't deal with the real uh, asset so it can be everything but in case of Bitcoin you can actually add that blockchain transactions data and track this uh, capital flow in order to see how the real things are going on so let's look at that first let's go to the uh, probably bitstamp because it has the longer history and then let's switch to the weekly chart and logarithmic scale so now we can have the, the whole history in one one screen and then let's add our indicator which is based on that features indicator actually we'll talk about the whole uh, set of indicators today uh, at least two we'll talk about mostly two indicators based on those features and first of all of those uh, less well, the one which is less interesting than the other one but still let's start from that it is NVT or network value or two transactions basically what it does it uh, divides the market capitalization to the volume of the transaction in the blockchain um, for the certain period of time so let's edit and let's remove some of the maybe not that necessary uh, data so now you can see how it looks like it is basically a curve with uh, some fluctuations and you see red areas and green areas what are those red areas it is obviously that this is the areas when you shall sell uh, because the price is very high and the green areas areas where you need to buy because the price is very low so you can think of that in a different many different ways but basically uh, the way you can put it is that since you divide the market capitalization by the volume uh, transactions in in dollars in principle it is equivalent to the bitcoin token supply divided by the daily bitcoin value transactions through the blockchain so basically it is one uh, divided by the volume because the number of bitcoins is pretty much the same if you will compare it like two different states then basically what you need to know is how the amount of the transaction the volume of transactions on blockchain uh, which is represented from the in, in bitcoins will look like how does it change and see here 
it means that the volume is, of transactions is very low. Here it means the volume of transactions is very high. It may seem counterintuitive at the first one, the first glance, but actually, for example, here, if you plot the volume profile, I can do that here, but if you plot the volume profile, uh, then you would see that at the very top, there was not so much of the volume traded. A lot of the, like the most of the smart, smart money, huge players were entered at this, this area. So they entered here. It was the biggest volume. Again, if you'll switch to BLX, uh, Brave New Coin, then you will see that the volume is biggest at the, this area, while well, excluding some of the glitches. But still, this is the volume which where was the most trading happened. And then um, this this smart money slowly, slowly uh, have been selling their. Uh, their funds during the rise and when the biggest liquidity was here they of course sell, sold a lot but at this point it was not so many people already entering of course they, there was some small uh, investors like you and I but it wasn't the the huge money here so and also you can think of that in the way that the biggest um, the, the number of transactions was huge, but the uh, volume of each, each transaction was small, so the cost of transaction is, was, was also uh, very high. So not so many people wanted to spend that money to just to perform this transaction. Uh, and also, a lot of the small uh, investors just kept their coins on, on the exchange, so they bought it from with the, let's say, fiat and that's they did, didn't move it eventually because it's a cold storage of the exchange and basically it doesn't affect the blockchain um, um, uh, vol volume transact transaction volume but here at the same time it is completely different because here and again here the, the people before the huge players um, uh, which were selling their coins their bitcoin they just cashed out right so they don't affect uh, the um, uh, vol volume of the, of the transactions when they cashed out already. So they have their fiat, that's it. And here, as I said, the situation is completely different. So they are loading their coins and they try to uh, manipulate the market in a way to load as much as possible. And also, this is very narrow, like small period of time, but the release of their uh, buying was very long to here and and here so that is why at this area the volume of transaction was actually the biggest and this area was quite small and it is interesting that if you look at, at zoom zoom in uh, zoom this in then you will see that at the moment as soon as we drop below six thousand dollars to this three thousand plus area then this area this level of NVT is actually lower than it was here when we had a lot of accumulation it's not necessarily that we are in the very bottom right like it can go even lower it can stay there forever it's all of that is true but relatively it means that we are very very possibly very likely to be at the bottom and maybe even like already passed it when it was 3150 um, moreover some people are considering the fact that there was liquid network and uh, lightning network started to operate so they actually need to have some corrections of this data because uh, the NVT tracks only the on-chain transactions not sidechain transactions and on the longer time scale it's actually sort of neglected but as you switch to daily chart it will look a bit different well quite quite different and a lot of people are uh, referring to that as saying that you see we are not that low right now we are still have room to fall but guys again the lower time frames the lower you set it the uh, uh, less accurate you will have the result so yeah we can indeed drop a little bit more but this is not as accurate as you look from the uh, longer time frames okay and Another thing which I was going to mention is is this one. Uh, so I tweeted this this chart. Basically, what you can see here is that uh, the uh, two plots, the solid curve is the Bitcoin price, and the uh, field um, sort of plot is the 
field area is the Bitcoin transaction count, the number of transactions, not the uh, volume, but the numbers. And you can see that it's pretty, pretty quite, well, I would say um, a correction, uh, correlation, sorry, correlation here between the previous cycle and the current cycle. The, uh, but the top of the price, from the top of the price, the number of transactions basically was or pretty uh, was pretty flat, didn't change that much. And then at certain point, they start to rise. At the same time, the price of Bitcoin was, was continuing to, to decrease, to fall. And then this is a divergence, right? So sometime after that, we had the bottom and accumulation period and then bull market. And eventually, uh, after the, 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 the latest, the recent top, recent high, we had very similar situation. The number of transactions was pretty much flat and then it started to rise. So it's continuing to rising actually. And we're already uh, in the divergence period for a while. And basically we are very close to either this pre-bull market already in this pre-bull market. So just a correlation, but you see it, it lines up very nicely in the whole picture. Uh, I must say that this uh, NVT um, indicator was made by Willy Wu, which is a decent guy in terms of the analysis of Bitcoin and knows a lot. So, but he actually said that he doesn't believe that the, the bottom is in. And he's, he showed, for example, this uh, chart with a price and uh, uh, volume of the coins as he, as he was changing hands. So basically the volatility of the volume. And in fact, I don't see that there is like correlation between this area and this area, maybe, but it's it's really speculative, but still it's his opinion. So he and some other ones like uh, Murad Mahmudov, they say that no, the bottom is not in. Murad Mahmudov is also a very uh, knowledgeable person about Bitcoin. I really highly recommend to listen uh, his uh, interview with uh, Anthony Pampliano about the Bitcoin in general uh, in the um, Pampliano's po podcast of the chain. Uh, interesting, very interesting interview and a lot of the data is there. So a lot of thoughts I would say and he actually we already referred to his uh, analysis before he showed a lot of the statistics a lot of the uh, technical technical analysis and for example this one is another one just an example but still he said that we probably will break 2000 week moving average this time uh, it will not hold as it was it is held in uh, 2015 and it has a lot of the explanations and like really comprehensive um, data here so uh, and by the way, he is quite of the uh, long-term bull for Bitcoin. He believes that we eventually, whenever it will happen, but Bitcoin will cost like each Bitcoin will be like 10,000, 10, sorry, 10, 10 million dollars. So he really believes in Bitcoin. He's, he's a Bitcoin maximalist, I would say. Well, sort of. But he even he thinks that we are not reached. We didn't reach the bottom. Um, and he with uh, Murat together with another another uh, uh, developers, well, developers, analysts, they developed another uh, indicator which is called uh, MVRV, market value to realized value ratio. And what it does, it basically calculates market value, which is just a capitalization of Bitcoin and realized value. Realized value, it is the value of the coins mined at the certain time. So like the value of, their co of those coins at a certain time. Uh, instead of counting all the mined coins at equal, which is very clever, current price, the UTXOs and unspent transaction outputs are aggregated and assigned a price based on BTC USD market price at the time when said UTXOs last moved. So very, very interesting um, approach. And basically they have a lot of the like explanation about what it is, why it is uh, relevant, why it has the fundamental basics and they the whole article is, is uh, filled with that, so I would recommend you to, to read it. But in a couple of words, it basically reflects the uh, sort of ratio between speculation and holding when more and more, more people are holding Bitcoin. And if, exam for example, if you'll draw this um, realized uh, value, then it will be more flat and continue to climb. 
similar to a market market capitalization or Bitcoin price, but it is sort of less less volatile. And you see that there's a small dips after the next steps, and those dips sort of reflect they reflect how holders uh, give up and surrender uh, their coins to the lower price than like, fix their losses at some point and in any way it is very few people who are doing that because you see this those dips are small but if you'll make this ratio you have very interesting result and also if the market pr price is lower than that then uh, apparently this is sort of an oversold area and the price should should return to this realized value and it does in fact it does for previous two bear periods uh, well bear markets or the bottom peer, bo bottom areas so uh, this is the old article maybe from the um, end of 2018th maybe like august or september uh, and there actually more data you can you can plot this realized capital uh, capitalization or mvrv and nvt as well on this site which is coinmetrics.io i don't think that you can find this or at least MVRV on TradingView. So I would refer, refer, to, refer you to this website. And what you can see here is that this was the bottom, right? So this was the bottom in 2014. And this how the uh, realized capitalization or price dropped, like headed this deep. Now we are basically again approaching this area and we already made this like uh, inclined part so we already here i would argue and moreover uh continue with this in-depth analysis <laughs> there is another guy renato shirakashi uh, this person he actually uh, made a lot of the other uh, analysis about bitcoin price and everything he for example he mentioned that the uh, um, dips when we had in 2014 15th is really similar to 18th and 19th if we'll make it in different time scale you can see the clear similarity I actually tweeted the similar thing before but yeah you see it it's really really um like very very similar and he, this guy made a wrote an article which is basically uh, called the bottom uh, bitcoin bottom is in so a lot of the data is i took from from his art his article so basically what he's saying that he analyzed these two things mvrv and well a lot of data here but the main conclusion is that also nvt is that if you if you plot all three together so blue is the uh, price of bitcoin uh, realized value is red and nvt is green you can see two things first is that again we are below realized realized value which indicates that we are pretty much somewhere in this area if, if we will return to 2015 and second if you look at nvt then you would see that actually this this figure is so much similar to what we had before it it just amazingly uh almost the same you see deep number one correction deep number two correction drop to the th number three some uh flat area around here and then the same here one correction two correction deep number three flat area and then the, th the next step is just amazing up correction up correction up and down up correction up correction up and down you see we are in this area if you will uh, refer to to the previous uh, bear cycle basically we should be somewhere here already so the the lowest point should be already passed um, yeah you would say that it's it's still speculative right it's not necessary necessarily correct and in fact as i said yeah there are other opinions and uh, like moving average is um, an, one of them which is sort of controversial but you see it is sort of lined up all together and it seems like it is it makes a lot of sense at least it makes a lot of sense to me so 
what I was going to, and again, yeah, just returning back to my conclusion that those people are looking at the daily, right? And I would encourage you to look at the at the weekly chart. This is the weekly chart. Weekly, we are very, very low on NVT. And if you will plot uh, MVRV, I think it's also uh, will show you that it will also show you that the uh, bottom is much more likely to be already made uh, because the wider time scale, the, the, the bigger time scale gives you a better perspective. So I don't want to say, guys, go and take loans and sell your house and buy Bitcoin. No, what I'm just saying that I see a lot of the bear uh, sentiment in the social media everywhere. And uh, you see, it's not necessarily, there is no fundamental reason whatsoever and no technical reason actually if you'll d uh, dig deeper that we have to drop to 2000 or 1000 or whatever price it should be there is no need to do that only market will decide the when whales will accumulate when the uh, um, regulations will come when the institutions will come many other things but at the moment it is clear that we are in the accumulation state how far we can go from that how low we can make a deep from during this state uh, but still this is time to accumulate it's my personal opinion not a financial advice as usual guys but again like do you remember last or a few videos ago we discussed stochastic oscillator it also nearly ideally show you the uh, ideally show you the uh, bottom was here and top was here top was here now it's showing the bottom around this area so so many things are lined up together that i just i of course i need to consider that the price will go lower or uh, all of those are wrong uh, history will not repeat itself and so on but still i tend to think that it is more likely that we already made this bottom okay guys um if you like this video i hope that you will see more in my daily updates and hopefully it was useful and you learned something new uh, thank you for watching see you hopefully tomorrow safe trading guys goodbye